Hello my YouTube friends. I'm not sure what kind of people this video is going to attract, but as you know, if you're my like a subscriber to my channel, um, I normally post Christian fiction uh, book reviews and that kind of thing, but I also happen to have traveled across the Atlantic Ocean a number of times. How many times have I done it? One, two, three, four, five. This will be my sixth or seventh time doing it, I think. But yeah, I currently live in Germany for just a couple more months and then I'm moving here to South Carolina. I've been here for the past couple of weeks, but I thought that why not do a video showing you guys what I put in my carry-on and what I've learned is worth putting in your carry-on because the first like two times I did this, overseas travel <clears throat> I put way too much stuff in my carry-on that I didn't end up using and it was so frustrating and annoying and just I quite literally hate walking through the airport with this heavy backpack on my shoulders it's like one of my biggest pet peeves and I do this for uh, like within Europe flights as well back when I flew around in Europe a little bit. So this works for domestic and international. I've flown quite a bit. So the backpack I'm using is actually a hiking backpack. It has back support. The shoulder straps are amazing. It clips around in the front. I love this backpack. I've been using it this past week and I honestly think I'm going to use this when I start going to college because it's so comfortable um, and it has so much more space than you would think. But the first thing I do is I take my laptop. I don't typically use my laptop. Unfortunately, checking it is just such a terrible idea. So I stick it in. It's the first thing I use and it's or first thing I put in there and it's kind of like a support. You'll see. Um, and then I take the charger cord. So I wrap up the charger cord and then in this backpack, there's like a little margin of space right next to the laptop that I just kind of stick it in. Sometimes I lay it flat across the bottom, which I think I will do for this go around. Okay, and then I do also take my camera and its charger with me, but I'm currently using my camera. What I do is I put it like at the bottom of the bag. Sometimes what I'll do is before I go through security, I'll put it in this outside bottle pocket so it is super easy to grab and just put in one of those bins. And then after I get through security, I repack my bag and put it at the bottom because I don't actually use my camera, which is a little annoying that I have to take it. But again, don't check electronics. Okay, and then the next thing I put in is a t-shirt. Tomorrow I'm happening to wear a long sleeve t-shirt, but just in case I get overheated or stuffy or something, I can take it off and put on uh, a short sleeve t-shirt or vice versa, start off wearing this, get super cold, put that on. Um, I'm not sure, we'll see how I'm feeling in the morning, but I just stick that at the bottom of the bag. Okay, and then the next thing I do is the biggest lifesaver, like flying hack that I have ever thought of, and I'm so, so proud of myself for thinking of it. I have this little crossbody bag right here that is the perfect size for my book, my wallet, and my phone, <laughs> and that's basically it. That's kind of all I need when I'm just sitting like on the plane. Uh, and then I also have a separate food bag that I take, will take out of this. But, so what I do is I have this, I take my book, because I love to spend uh, the flight reading. Like, I don't know why, I just love reading on planes for some reason. Anyway, I take the book, I stick it in here. Then I don't put my whole wallet in here, what I do is I take out my debit card, uh, my ID, any cash I have on hand. I stick these two things in a little pocket on the back just so that I have them with me in case something happens to my backpack that I put in the overhead. I have this bag on me like at all times. I put the wallet in this bag also at the bottom. Now it's basically useless. It just has uh, some Polaroid pictures in it and maybe some pennies. We have this bag. Also in this bag, I put in my phone and my phone's charger. Most flights internationally are going to have either a USB drive for this or um, they call it oh an outlet like right next to the seat where you can plug in something to use this. I have really bad battery on my iPhone, so I like to 
stick the charger in here just in case. We have that bag all packed up. And oh, another thing I also put in here is if I'm flying international, I put my passport also in that little pocket. So then we stick that bag right on top. And it doesn't have to be a crossbody bag. Like it could be a purse that could fit a book or like whatever you want while you're in the seat, I'm guessing. But I just find that that bag works best for me. Um, and then you just stick it in the top of the backpack so that when it comes time to board the plane, you can just pull it out and then stick the backpack up top. We're not done yet though. There are more, more things that have to go in, unfortunately. Okay, so next I take a water bottle, stick it in a bottle pouch. Um, I also have my earbuds, which I don't use very much, so sometimes I just leave them uh, in the backpack. Sometimes I put them in that bag that I take with me into the seat. Uh, it really depends on how I'm feeling. If it's an overnight flight, yes, I take these and listen to music to try and help me fall asleep. But if it's a daytime flight, then I just leave them up and uh, read the entire flight. That is what I do. Okay, so just a few more things go in my carry-on. I have my USB drive that has all my videos, like literally every video I've ever posted on my YouTube channel is on this thing. I happen to have a little mesh pocket, like ugh, right at the top here that I put uh, this USB drive in. And it's not a USB drive, it's a hard drive. Why am I calling it a USB drive? I don't know. So I put that in there as well as any other charger kind of thing. So like my camera charger goes in there, the charger like for my earbuds just in case they run out of juice. And then I have some uh, menstrual pads in there. I also have some of those in the crossbody bag just in case our bodies like to do weird things on travel days. And then this is a literal lifesaver. You will thank me later, whether you are a man or a woman, put deodorant in your carry-on, please. There are so many travel days when I like, am even on the plane, I'm like, I feel absolutely disgusting. And I have deodorant in my carry-on and it makes me just feel like human again. And believe it or not, there is still more space in that little pocket, but we don't need to fill it. Um, the final thing that would go in here is a snack bag. Um, and that just fits easily right on top. You can still see there's like plenty of space for it. I just don't have my snack bag packed yet. And then, so like I said, when it comes time to board the plane, um, I just grab that snack bag, this crossbody bag with my book and phone in it. And I sit down and enjoy a flight where I can like stretch out my legs because this thing stays like right next to me or like right at the right at my feet but like it's not a huge bulky backpack you know and then if I decide I want to use my laptop it's like you're allowed to get into your carry-on during the flight yeah that is my packed carry-on I'm gonna have to unpack it again because I don't leave until tomorrow yeah let me know what kinds of things are in your carry-on if you travel frequently um, if this video was maybe a little helpful, once I figured out that tip of, or that hack of having a separate smaller bag that you take out and then put your backpack up, oh my gosh, my life was just changed and it made traveling so much easier and I'm so glad I figured that out. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will get back to talking about books in my next video, I promise. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a like. And maybe, maybe you might wanna see more traveling content in the future, but just press subscribe if you do. Um, and I will see you in my next video, whatever that is. Until then, bye.